Hi guys, so I just wanted to share with you a little something, um, really interesting. I've known and I've made it, you know, known publicly to everyone, hey, guess what? You know, there's uh, portals in the house here, um, in my other bedroom. Moving into this room the last couple nights, um... See the cobwebs? They're moving. Now you can probably hear the air purifier on the other side of the room. This room was like chilling me to the bone. And it still is. So I got that little candle right there. Um, and I was watching it last night as I burned that right through in that area there's no cracks in the wall there's no fan behind there with the you know slit open so there's some air coming through the window is right there when you wet your finger and go like this and hold your finger in the air you can feel which way the wind is blowing you know that right it's not from there it's from right in there this whole spot right here is enough. There's a portal. That's why I haven't cleaned off the uh, cobweb things yet from inside the uh, lampshade because I'm like just watching this. The girls and I have been watching it like last night and uh Use the pendulum to confirm. Is there a portal behind me? A chandelier on the other side of the room. Not constantly, just occasionally here and there. Has been swaying back and forth. It'll stop, and then I'll look over and I'm like, oh my god, it's moving. And it's swaying about a half an inch back and forth. I know that's my dad. I feel it in my heart, man. That's my dad. I can smell my grandmother. I can smell my Aunt Kathy's house before my dad moved in. The smell changed, you know what I mean? Not like it was a bad smell or anything, you know, like, ew, your house reeks, right? No, um, this is different. Like, y you can smell a house when you walk in, especially an older house, you know what I mean? Um, they have a certain smell to them, and it's not bad, you just, you notice. I haven't smelled that smell since I was a kid. My dad, in the months before he passed, in the year before he passed, whatever, how long it's been, it's, it was a while. And I let you guys know about it, you know, a bunch of times already. My dad really wanted me to write. You know, years ago, years ago I did start to write notebook paper, actual pen, and hand with my own handwriting started to write about my time dead because I I know and I knew then you know that at some point I would need to write a book and tell people about my time on the other side so I, I did I started it years and years ago I just a little while ago found a purse and you know and cleared out empty purse but it had some paper in it and like um, clear plastic, almost like a clear plastic straw thing, like the plastic over a straw, but a little bit bigger. Um, that I found some of my grandma's teeth in. But I recognized the handwriting on the notebook paper 
as mine. I opened it up. I took it out of the purse. I, I, you know, unfolded it, opened it. It's uh, my handwriting. It was all the pages that I had started years and years ago about writing about my accident. And I just wanted to share some things with you. Just give you a little bit of, uh, hey, guess what? And yeah, I'll end up cleaning that off. The cobwebs, you know, no big deal. But I think this area right here, which has been filling me with questions like, dude, am I getting anemia again or something? Why am I like chilled to the bone? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Where in the hell is this breeze coming from? You know, it's a fucking window open. Oh, God. And I wasn't going to swear, but oops, I did. Um, <laughs> wow, man. I love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful night. I know I am.